Hello and welcome to yet another Dragon PME tutorial. Now, I'd just like to do this tutorial. It might be a part one of two or three or four series. I don't know, depending on how it goes. Um, on networking, I'd just like to briefly go over a few things about networking on a Mac. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple wireless internet connection and hopefully show you how to share files and folders and create um, a network pretty much through your Apple Mac um, because I know networking is a pain in the neck when it comes to Windows machines because you know what they're so stupid oh, man. right I just like to start by saying I have my airport turned off hence why it looks like this little triangle cheese thing or it's the mouth of Pac-Man did Pac-Man ever ever fill that mouth of his it's so anyway right I'm in the system preferences at the moment and I'd just like to scoot along to networking. Now I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing in this tutorial so please uh, bear with me. Okay and in the network um, tab let me just double check yes in the network thing button you'll get this this little screen um, and it'll It'll come up with a, a variety of different ways to connect to a network. So, for example, I have in my Mac an Ethernet port, uh, airport port, and VPN settings. Um, obviously, if you have uh, a modem, it will appear in the list, but I don't actually have a modem in mine, so it's not in the list. So, let's say we're going to have a wireless, uh, a wireless network we can go to here and like I said with a little block of cheese it's turned off now you can either configure it like this um, or you can click up here and it has an abundant like a few settings etc so I'm gonna try and do everything in in here right first of all we wanna try and switch on the network so go back a second up oh, too far back up oh, oh, oh I broke it I broke it oh, oh show the network status Right. Don't get confused like I did there. This show thing show different types of ways to um, to create a network. So, for example, Ethernet will be here somewhere, be built in Ethernet, and it'll go you to take you to the Ethernet options. The airport, which is the wireless, take you to the wireless options, um, and show the whole lot for this little view here. Now, you learn something every day, really, and I hope you've learned something there. Um, okay, so first of all, I'd just like to click connect to m turn on the airport, right? The airport is here. Turn on the airport. See, when you click connect, it kind of took you to a separate window. Airport is off. Turn the airport on. And automatically, I've connected to the PME router. Now, Straight away, airport is green and on the top. Why? Because it's a go go, and I will be able to quickly access Safari and type in www.google.com, and voila, we shall go straight to Google. No requirements needed. Um, okay, but I'm gonna be sneaky and connect to the BT Home Hub. And to be honest, it's probably the next door's neighbor, next door neighbors, and it's it's wanting a web code. Um, you'll type in your web code. Um, it'll ask for different things. Y you should know depending on what router you are using. You type in your thing. Um, you can take a show password to show what I'm typing, etc. Or not. And remember password in the kitchen. I would recommend you remember it so it can connect straight away. Now I don't know my next next door neighbor's web key, so I can't really hack it. Uh, and this is all in the VPN, uh, not VPN in the the airport settings. We have. Bluetooth obviously I don't really use to connect to the internet it's a bit pointless in my opinion too slow but I'm gonna keep it connected to the PME router okay and tick this little box if you want to see the wedge of cheese do you know what I'm saying about the wedge of cheese should it appear here see the signal strength right uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell I don't have any um, web keys or anything so I was connected straight away that's how easy it is to connect on a Mac uh, if you go on summary I think it gives you IP addresses and stuff but anyway so let's say you wanted to configure these settings or click configure or you can go to show airport depending on whatever you want um, and you can tell it IP addresses um, manually off etc 
using a boot IP. Um, anyway, you can change these settings yourself. I use a DNS server, um, open DNS, help go make my uh, internet go faster. Um, uh, simple information. Most of the stuff you don't even need to fiddle with. I never did. Pope P. I like to call it Pope, but it's it's clearly not Pope. P P P O E um, for the likes of AOL and stuff like that. Um, Apple Talk. I've never come across anything and proxies. All these uh, accessible via this little setting things. Just remember to go show and whatever form you want to connect to, and these little tab. Oh, they're not tap. What are they? Little buttons? I don't know. Little thing widgets. And when your settings have been configured to your liking, you can press the padlock, and bada bing, bada boom, it is all locked, and nobody, not even someone like yourself, can accidentally edit them, unless of course you type in your password. So, for example, if you have a little sister, and she's running around, oh, I'm going to change all your settings. Nope. Sorry, you're going to need to know my password. That is the the length of the world. Um, you can add and take away different networks that you prefer. I'm just going to keep with a PME router. That's how easy it is to set up an internet connection um, via the wireless. It's very easy and very efficient. Now, let's say you wanted to use the Ethernet. Um, maybe have a, a wired connection to a router or maybe just simply connecting your internet through the Ethernet port. Now, you would first start disconnect this. Go away. And you just got your built in Ethernet and you go configure and just simply do the settings, etc. Um, now, basically, I always leave all this crap to manual. I've never had to use it properly before. Um, when If you plug in a modem straight into the Ethernet port, you plug it in and you go onto your Safari. Let's just apply these settings because I don't want to get too confused. Let's turn my airport off so it goes into the wedge of cheese. Um, and for example, I want eBay.com. Oh, 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 wait, you are not connected to the internet. Um, and you could go through a network's diagnostic screen to help you connect to the internet. Now, this is pretty much the way I did it at first. If you plug in or activate whatever internet source you're using and go on Safari network diagnostics, it usually it goes through like a little wizard, a bit of built in or, or, or um, airport, etc. And it'll do it for you. It's so easy, so simple. Um, just using the wizard, I can't really say much because I, I use a wireless network. If you're using for the likes of AOL or BT broadband, um, I know these are the English ones, I don't know what you have over in America. Um, I'm not quite sure how uh, to, to tell or, or to figure anything out or anything. Do you know what I mean? I don't have a web pa password. Uh, DHCP, not Pope. Girl, go away. Your internet connection appears to be working. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. And then it even goes to your website afterwards. Um, to be honest, you don't even really need to know anything about anything to get it to work. Just simply do the network diagnostics and you should be able to do it straight off. Um, I'm using Virgin Media at the moment, the cable broadband. Um, that has got to be the easiest easiest service provider to set up with so if you have Virgin Media and we're watching this and you're thinking about getting a Mac guess what it's so easy uh, you might as well just do it with your eyes, eyes closed um, that's the internet connection wizard really in a nutshell now I'm going to tell, talk about um, sharing files and folders and stuff on the network in my next tutorial I hope you've learned something and I hope I haven't bored you to death um, simply do the the network diagnostics tool when you, you're done uh, when you want to use the internet, well, not all the time, just the first time. Um, and if you have BT or any kind of ADSL modem, I'm afraid I can't really help you there because I have zero experience. I use cable broadband um, and do recommend it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If I haven't been a help, I'm very, very sorry. Um, I wish I could be more of a help, really. But anyway, have a good day and I'll see you later.